and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about electromagnetic induction. This will lead on to Faraday's law, okay, um, in my next video, but I'm just going to talk about the basics of what happens. So I'm going to talk about this idea and remind you that a current carrying wire generates a magnetic field. An induction is the process of an object feeling a change in magnetic field and then generating its own electric field, which then generates its own current. And I'm going to explain it with this idea here. What I have is a rod, and I've got two wires around it, like this, okay? One of the wires, the coils of wires, is attached to a cell and has a switch in it, which is currently open. The other wire is just connected to an ammeter. So, what we'll talk about now is what's going to happen when I close that switch. So when the switch is closed, so by the way, I'm going to call this um, one and two. When the switch is closed, one is a current carrying wire. Therefore, it will generate a magnetic field. Now, number two will feel in the very small time that this switch is going from open to closed, it will feel a change in flux. Two will experience a change in flux. Now this is what happens when an object experiences a change in flux, a change in a magnetic field, it will generate an electric field. Okay? And the reason comes down to looking at Faraday's. A magnetic field interacting with an electric field will generate a force. If you change that magnetic field, the force changes. And when a force changes, for example, deceleration or acceleration, there must be sort of an energy change going on. This means that when you do, when you, an object experiences this change in a magnetic field, it will experience a change in force, which means that it experienced a change in energy somehow. And in the case of wires, this change in flux induces an EMF. And by that, I mean an electric field. For there to be an EMF or a potential difference, there must have been an energy transfer being taken place. Because I have now got an electric field, current will flow. Okay. However, this is only for a very short amount of time because it only happens when there is a change in flux. I've gone from nothing to something. Okay. The amateur will return to zero. Now the first three lines here when the switch is closed, one is a current carrying wire and will generate a magnetic field. Two will experience a change in flux, which is induces an EMF, therefore current will flow in two. That is the basics. Those black lines are the basis of electromagnetic induction. One wire generates a magnetic field. Another wire experiences a change in a magnetic field which induces an EMF in it, an electric field. 
This electric field allows current to flow. As long as the initial field has a changing magnetic field and the other one experiences that change in flux, current will continue to flow. But in the case of this one, because I've gone from off to on, it's only a very brief sort of change. It only goes from, if you imagine the amateur as a dial, this is zero, it'll go whoop, like that, okay? So these three lines, if you're ever asked why an electro, uh, why electromagnetic induction is happening or why is a current being induced, you can literally regurgitate the three lines I just said there. That a, one object is a current carrying wire which generates a magnetic field. The other wire experiences a change in flux, which means an EMF is induced. This induces a current. If you say those things, you will get most of the marks in that question. Individual questions have individual comments. Like, for example, this one will mention that it will go back to zero, or a disc brake might want to talk about slowing the car down. But to get the majority of the marks, the examiner wants to see that you understand that a current carrying wire has a magnetic field, that the other wire experiences a change in flux, and that word is important. Those words are important. The idea that it induces an EMF and that then current will flow. So that there is the basis of electromagnetic induction. Faraday's law is taking that even further and quantifying the amount of EMF that will be generated. And that is electromagnetic induction.